three years. That's how long I knew him. For three years I followed him, became one of his disciples, left a good fishing business, left my home. Three years of being so close to this amazing man. Man? Teacher, miracle worker, friend, and in the end, my Lord and my God. Favourite thing to do with Jesus? Well, going to weddings was fun, especially if you're partial to good red wine. Boat trips. Now, they certainly could be interesting. All-you-can-eat picnics with Jesus quickly became famous, but going to funerals with Jesus probably took the biscuit. If I'm honest, though, I think the most favourite thing I did with Jesus was when there were just a few of us. At the end of the day or early morning, and Jesus would take a walk up the mountain. We all need a bit of alone time sometimes, but we'd follow him so far. I think he wanted us to come a bit of the way. I think he wanted us to see what he was doing. Well, we were his disciples. He was always showing us the way to do it, the way to do life, life in all its fullness. So he'd go up the mountain to pray, to talk to his father. He'd be so tired sometimes after he'd been healing the sick. So many sick people, but power would leave him. And then they would be running Hearing, seeing, renewed, restored, forgiven, and at the end, he would send them away and head for the mountain. And afterwards, there would be a lightness in his step and renewed resolve in his eyes. He'd laugh, look at us, and joy would chase tiredness away. Yes walks up the mountain. That was my favourite thing to do with him. Three years. And then the end came. Sadness overwhelmed us. We abandoned him. We thought it was the end of the story. How could we follow him when he was dead? But the stone, it was rolled away. And Jesus started visiting us, proving beyond doubt that he'd not stayed dead, showing us his scars, having picnics on the beach, just like old times. I suppose we knew it couldn't go on forever. I must return to my father, he said. So we had that last special day. Our last walk up the mountain, together this time, right to the top. We remembered that he told us he had to go back to his father, to get a place ready for us. Then, go, he said, go everywhere and tell everyone the good news. Tell everyone I love them, love them so much I died for them. I had to squint then because the sun suddenly got brighter than it had ever been. It was hard to see what happened, but Jesus was with us one minute and then the next he was up there in the air, going higher and higher until we couldn't see him any longer. We just stood there for ages looking up in the sky, bereft again, but somehow different from before. I think we'd be there still if suddenly two angels, massive angels, hadn't appeared, shining with all the glory of heaven around them. What are you doing, they asked. Jesus isn't here. He's gone back to be with his Father in heaven. But he will come back one day. So, with a lightness in our step, and renewed focus in our eyes, 
We laughed, went down the mountain, and we looked with joy into the faces of people whom Jesus loved and died for. Yes, a walk up the mountain, that was my favourite thing to do with Jesus. <laughs>